Hi there, Lime Macedo. It's me, Neil from LimeMacedo.com, who's Lime Macedo and Think Person Branding. Just wanted to share with you, I finished the video just now, and I'm just putting this video to give you instructions. Um, the video title is, how did I manage to get like 43 million views uh, on Quora within five months? Technically, it is four months because when I started off, I was just answering one or two answers a day, and in between, I also had my surgery, and I was not active on Quora for one month. So it's technically 43 million views in four months. However, you know, just taking the time frame, 43 million uh, views in five months. Uh, second thing is there's a timestamp below where you would see the different, different parts of this video divided so that it's very easy for you to choose which part of the video you want to go to and have a look at which part of the statement. Also keep in mind that I just decided to go random with this video. I didn't plan out what I was going to say. I just had a few points so you'd see me, you know, rambling here and there. Please don't mind that. And last but not the least, um, I keep giving content like this for free. So if you'd like to support my channel or like to support me, please go to PayPal and give $1, $5, $10, anything. Uh, it really helps because you know any amount of money helps uh, towards keeping this content always for free. I'll appreciate your support. And if you don't want to give the money, even $1 you do not want to give, at least like and share my stuff both on Quora and here, that's all I ask. And put, please put a couple of positive uh, comments down below, share it with your friends and give me a quote, that's all I ask. And if you have any ideas, questions, or uh, suggestions on how to make it better, feel free to send me an email, lloydloymacedo.com. I would love to hear from you. And um, yes, I always put videos like this. So this is dedicating it to all my uh, Quora friends and followers who are part of my WhatsApp group. They'd ask me, Loy, how did you get 43 million views in uh, five months? Technically four months, you know, I like to show off. So this is a video to share with you. Hope you like it. I hope you enjoyed as much as uh, I enjoyed creating it. So now go ahead and watch one hour, 10 minutes, or one hour, 20 minutes of content for free. Let me know what you think. Bye for now. Hi there, Lloyd Macedo, it's me and you from LloydMacedo.com, who's Lloyd Macedo and Think Personal Branding. Uh, today the date is uh, 20th December 2017, time right now is um, 5.11 in the evening. All right, um, for those of you who are new, uh, um, who are new and do not know this, I'm a part of Quora. Quora is a platform, it's a kind of a social networking site where you have questions, you can ask questions and you can answer questions. Um, so I got introduced uh, to this site by my friend. I'll just keep his name as AD because he doesn't want to get uh, recognized. I don't know why he likes to be in secret. So uh, he introduced me, he kept chewing my brains and saying, come on, Cora, come on, Cora, it'll help your brand. I was like, ah, forget it. So, but, you know, eventually I, I listened to him and at first I was just writing one answer a day and I, I didn't care what I was writing, I was just writing. And uh, uh, one fine day I found this question which was about Dubai and uh, I decided I would, okay, I would put some effort and I would answer it properly. And mind you, this is during my marriage, uh, during my honeymoon, you know, so I was not even at home here. So I, I wrote this question about, I answered this question about Dubai, uh, what really goes on in Dubai behind the scenes. I I kind of kind of expose the truth because if you're in Dubai, you can't actually tell the truth because uh, if you're in Dubai and you write the truth and it speaks against the country, you can get jailed and you can get fined, you can get deported. So I, I put the real uh, scenario of what actually happens in Dubai for expatriates, Indians, Pakistanis, Bangladeshis, Sri Lankans. So I, I did that. I, I didn't expect anything. And um, after I did that for a couple of days, I didn't bother. And then my friend, uh, Mr. A, he kept telling me, hey, listen, you got 1,000 views, you got 2,000 views, you got, you know, 40 likes. I was like, what the hell is all this upwards? And I, I, I didn't care a damn much about this. One fine day, he told me, do you know that you're number one as the most viewed writer in Dubai? I was like, from where the hell did you get that stack? So he's like, he sent me a, a snapshot. And I was pretty intrigued. I, I checked it and I found out that I was the number one writer for Dubai and UAE. And for me, being a blogger for so many years, I was, you know, number one for blogging. I was like, eh, no. But then I saw it and it felt good. It kind of felt good. Oh, okay, I'm number one. So before I knew it, from 100,000 views, that very answer, I'll, 
you know, you can just Google Cora, Loy Macedo, Dubai, you would get the various answers that I've given. This got from 100,000 views, went to 200,000 views, and eventually one fine date went to 750,000 views. And there was this particular gentleman whose name I do not want to take, but he was the number one writer uh, in Dubai for the category of Dubai. He's from Dubai. And I managed to beat him like uh, five or six times the distance. And that kind of made me feel good. I was like, wow, I'm the writer of Dubai. And, you know, that, that kind of emotional bonding was there. So um, then I started to take interest of what is Quora. And uh, I started writing more and more answers. And to my surprise, my the number of views I started to get increased and increased. I didn't know what was what was to be done. I didn't know... What would I do with the views? I didn't know what to do with the followers. I didn't know what to do with the upload. So I have decided I'd create this video for you so that you can benefit from the mistakes that I made so you don't make the same mistakes. And uh, you can at least have some sort of guidance to tell you what you should be doing and what you shouldn't be doing. Because I made a lot of mistakes, lots of mistakes. I wasted a lot of days. I even got banned and I even nearly lost my account. So this video is to share with you all those things you should, you should not do, and all the things you must consider before getting into Quora. Okay. Now, first and foremost is, um, before, before you do decide to get into Quora, let me tell you this. Make sure that everything that you put on Quora is absolutely correct. From your name, make sure your name is exactly what is stated on the passport. Number one, make sure your name, your details are exactly what is on the passport. Make sure it is exactly as per Facebook. Make sure it's exactly it's because if tomorrow you start getting popular and somebody complains, anybody complains, you're going to lose your entire account. You will lose every single thing what you have done and created for Quora. So please keep that in mind. That's the first most important thing uh, because... Um, you would not believe this. My name is Loy Macedo. My website's name is Loy Macedo. I've created Facebook, Loy Macedo. Uh, I have a Twitter with Loy Macedo, a YouTube with Loy Macedo. Everything is with Loy Macedo. Even after doing all this, one fine day, I got Quora moderation that asked me, please change your name and put your real name from Loy Macedo. And I was like, what? And you, you need to understand the reason why I'm telling you this is as you start becoming popular, you will start getting many haters. There will be many, many haters who will downvote your answers, who will try to cherry pick each and every fault of your answer. They will try to destroy you, uh, your, your popularity. They would want you to be banned because that's how envious and jealous some people can get. And you would, you would get a massive crowd of haters hating you if you start becoming popular on Quora. This has happened to one Indian student, I think. Not Indian student, a student who I think uh, aced the IIT G exam. I have no idea what that is. And all of a sudden, he started getting millions of people uh, all over India hating him, uh, despising him, giving him threats. So you would face lots of these. So just make sure, point number one, the first most important thing is make sure your name, your identity is exactly what is stated on your passport. So that when you create your account, if tomorrow it gets questioned for its authenticity, for its name, you have a passport, you have legal papers. For me, I literally, I'm, I'm not joking. And this is after getting, I think, nearly 40 million views and um, getting a whole lot of fans and followers. Cora just suspended my account and said, please change your name from Loy Macedo to your real name. Otherwise, we're going to ban your account. And I was like, are you crazy? My 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 name on Facebook is Loy Macedo. My uh, Twitter account is Loy Macedo. My website is Loy Macedo. My uh, you know, if you Google my name, you'll get Loy Macedo with my face. And they were like, "No, please give us your real name." It's like uh, you'd not believe when I when I try to get into marriage websites. This is dating. This is a couple of years. This is two years ago. They rejected my photograph, saying, "Please do not use." The, the photograph or the image of famous celebrities use your own. I kept giving them my actual photograph. I even wrote on a sheet of paper and said, guys, this is me. You know, it's written here. They didn't believe until I literally sent them original attested papers. One of them even came on Skype to, to believe it was me because they said I was a celebrity online and uh, they couldn't believe that I actually came on the website. I was on the website featured. So 
What I'm telling you is, please make sure that you have your identity that is the same as for your passport. Because if in case tomorrow they say no, you can send all this. So after my account got suspended, I send them a copy of my passport, my driver's license, my health card, my ID card, my work permit. Uh, I send them all my accounts because you do not believe after sending them Twitter, Facebook, uh, website, all of this, they still rejected it. They still rejected it. After sending them a passport, still nothing was done. Finally, when I wrote to them, I wrote to different, different people uh, whose emails I got. I wrote to them. Finally, it was reinstated. Uh, in between, they even asked me to change it to Loy Anthony Macedo. But then I put a special request, please. My name is Loy Macedo. It's Loy Anthony Macedo. But I don't use Anthony in between. I just put Roy Macedo. So the first one, please ensure that your name is exactly as stated as for password. Now that's number one. Second, second very important thing which I want to mention once again. Let me put this uh, name a duplicate. Okay. The second thing which I want to caution you about on in terms of Quora is now this is uh, this is a fact which I want to share with you. Um, when I created Quora. Uh, I, I think I created this many, many years ago, uh, around uh, three or four years ago. I just wanted to ask a question and I logged in from a different account. And I just asked one question or two questions, something like that. And I never used it again. So when I started using this account and I started getting more and more popular, one fine day my friend said, hey, uh, you know, the same guy, AD, uh, he said, what the hell are you doing? I was like, what, what, what did I do? He said, why did you create two accounts? I said, what two accounts? I, 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 I didn't create two accounts. He said, no, look, there is two Loy Macedos here. So I was like, I, I don't know this. I, I really no idea. What is this? And I clicked on that account to check. And then I realized, oh, this was the old one. He said, now, right now, he was in a state of panic. He said, right now, delete it, get rid of it. I was like, uh, but I'm not using it. He said, no, I don't care. Just get rid of it. I was like, why? What, what am I doing? I, I just asked a question like four or five years ago. He said, no, you'll get blocked. You'll get banned for creating duplicate accounts. So he was so, uh, you know, nervous and, and I mean, he was hyper about it. I said, okay, fine, fine. I, I somehow managed to figure out how to delete that. And, uh, I just got it deleted permanently, all the records, everything. In fact, when I just, when I, when I put it on like deactivated, he said, not even deactivate, delete it, completely delete it. So I said, okay, fine, I'll completely delete it. I didn't understand how critical this was until one of my fellow Quora uh, users who had, uh, I don't know, he, he created two accounts, one account long back, and he got suspended and blocked and banned forever. So please, if you're creating another account by mistake, because you know, you need to understand when you create Quora, you have either Facebook or Google. So sometimes you tend to have this problem where you log in through your Facebook, it goes into one account, you log in through uh, Google, it goes to another account. So Quora will get a kind of red alert that you're trying to create a fake account and then you will lose your account, you lose your followers, you lose all your hard work. So please be careful, don't have two accounts. And if you have, not only deactivate it, make sure it's deleted completely, the full trace, because once you create a Quora account and you get banned, remember it's your IP address. It's uh, they will track you down. Even if you create another name, anything else, uh, they will somehow figure it out because you can never be smarter than the system and you lose everything. So please make sure that uh, you do not have any duplicate accounts. Okay. Now, here's another thing which I want to tell you is uh, another not to do thing. That is, once again, let me just write it down. Okay, um, please, here's one thing which I want to tell you. Okay, this is the third point is, please do not think you're smarter than the system. Okay, I have, I have been sent certain links by certain individuals who are doing very well on Quora. They keep putting up these videos, power hacks for Quora, or how to ace Quora, or how to get thousands of followers and thousands and millions of views. See, the thing is, you cannot be smarter than the system, okay? These guys who are famous on Quora, famous on Quora, millions of views and millions of followers, but they are not famous anywhere else. They're only famous on Quora. The reason being is they just got lucky. Here's the thing which I want you to understand. Many people get famous only on one platform and that's about it, okay? I, out of respect for the guys, I don't want to take their names, 
But there, there are a lot of these chocolate flavor looking boys, like very handsome, they have spiky hair, they look blonde or they look muscular and they are ripped. And then you get all these big guys with big name CEO, you know, a million billion dollar company and uh, venture capitalist and investor and managing director and founder. And uh, then you get these girls who are so hot, like, ah, I tell you. I saw some of them there. They're literally showing whatever they can, like hi. They go like this, and you know everything is shown. And oh, anything she puts, anything this girl puts, uh, ten thousand votes. Apo, she just put. If she just put, uh, I the one thing which I want to share with you. I ate chocolate cake and I licked my fingers, or something like that. I think she got around a hundred and seventy thousand views in less than I think less than an hour or something like that. Two hours, and she gets like. 30,000 upwards or likes just for a stupid silly answer. So the, the, see the thing is they are just lucky the right person at the right place at the right time. That is why someone you see on Quora who might have millions of views and millions of followers, you go to their YouTube channel, they have maybe 1,000 followers. You go to their Facebook, they have 300 followers. So it's just that they're lucky on Quora. Okay. It's just that they're lucky on Quora. So keep this in mind. Whatever advice people give you, oh, delete all your old answers and just keep the highest upwards or keep the highest uh, views or make sure that it is balanced between the f four is to one or 40 is to one or whatever combination. Please, you cannot be smarter than the system. You can never be smarter than the system. They have PhDs. They have the best talent in the world. They have people who are earning hundreds of thousands of dollars. Uh, venture capitalists are pumping in millions. They are not some small, and you being one small guy or one small girl in one small room, which your daddy and mummy is playing the paying the you know bills. You can't be smarter than you know Facebook or Twitter or you know all the PhD programmers from Harvard. You know you can't not, not PhD program. You can't be smarter than everyone. Come on, unless you're a hardcore hacker. So please. Uh, there is no such hacks. There is no such uh, magic stuff that you hear on YouTube and, uh, and what people say. And also one more thing which I want to tell you is, please, please, please do not copy answers from anywhere. Do not copy. There was this really one time, one hit wonder, popular uh, Quora guy, young boy. He was literally getting, I'm not even joking, he was literally getting more than 1,000 followers. 1,000 followers per day. I was paying attention every single day. 1,000, 1,200. One, once he even got 1,800 followers in a single day. And uh, he was getting literally, I mean, like, uh, I, I think close to 100,000 views per answer. And eventually he got caught for plagiarism, you know. So please don't copy. And if you take any any question or any any particular answer, give the reference down below because I'll tell you this. There will be people who will be gunning for you. There will be people whose only job is to ensure that they destroy your brand, they destroy your presence on Quora, and they make sure that you lose your account. So please make sure that you use proper references. Now, I'm giving you the first the, uh, the warning, the, the big warnings, which nobody will tell you. Okay. Now, another thing which I want you to tell you, uh, tell you is uh, uh, please make sure that you know how to handle haters. Once you start becoming popular on Quora, uh, there are thousands of trolls. I don't know. Somehow, the one thing which I do not agree with Quora is they have these 13-year-old boys and 13-year-old girls. My my friend's son, who is 9-year-old, has a Quora account. And uh, so you get all these children coming up from there. And they, they're pretty jobless, most of them. They don't have anything to do. So when you give... When you give a platform where your voice can be heard both to a genius and to a jackass, both to a grown-up and a kid, the kid starts thinking, oh, I'm equal to you. The jackass starts thinking, I'm a genius. You know, you'd not believe I got, I, I literally got 14-year-old kids. I'm not joking. 14-year-old kids giving me advice on how I should treat my wife. And I'm serious. 14-year-old young boys, when I put, when I asked him to come on Skype and I saw him, he looked like a boy who, whose pubic hair had not grown from any part of his body. He, he didn't even have facial hair. You know, forget, sorry, pubic hair. What am I doing? Pubic hair here. He, he didn't have any facial hair. He looked like a small little twiddly twerp. And he said, eh, you treat your wife nicely. And when I spoke to him on Skype, 
he was shivering like oh, hi but when he spoke to me uh, when he was chatting with me on call oh yo dog what's up he was acting like a big shot you know they they are called this keyboard warriors or keyboard mma fighters they act like they, they are like ultimate but the minute you talk to them on skype they literally shiver and then you got these 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 small kids i'm telling you one boy he literally said i want to have a business deal with you and entrepreneurship and all that crap and he was harassing me like anything else finally i got fed up i i put on the camera his cap is this way he's he's putting some fake gold chain and yo yo you know i just want to speak to you man about uh you know the social media kind of uh, platform uh, we are we are talking of uh, venture capital and well, like I, you know what are you a small little kid what are you talking about and then i and as i was listening to his crap his mom walks in grabs his ear and just you know takes him away even without looking at the screen so what i'm trying to tell you you will get plenty of haters wannabes they will harass you so please do not get into a fight with them if anyone harasses you just block them just straight away block mute them so you don't have to see them in fact i got so many people telling me why are you uh why are you using a bot to manufacture upwards and to manufacture likes and for you to ask questions to yourself so you will get ridiculous statements like this so if you you will have plenty of haters please make sure that you block them asap i keep <coughs> blocking many of them there are some of them who do not allow emails to come in i allow emails to come in i get plenty of free requests at least uh, on an average at least 10 per day um, so just be wary of the fact that you'll get plenty of haters and very important is please be careful of putting your phone number your email address your details because there are a lot of stalkers out there who will chase you i have this one female who uh, literally had this crazy stalker who was chasing her so these are now these are six things 1 2 3 4 5 six six things is uh, uh one second let me just put it down that you need to be careful in terms of putting on quora so please be careful okay now in terms of the tips let me just bring this now in terms of the tips and tricks on how to get uh, uh you know approximately 40 what is that 43 million views in 5 months okay and mind you i'm just going random you know so if there is any errors in this video just don't mind okay now i've just put around 20 tips for all of you um uh i'm just going randomly so whatever you feel is useful just take it for you and uh, you know use it okay so first and foremost is uh, tip number 1 every answer that you give make sure that you have a proper image every answer that i've given i've used an image uh, you know there's that search bar when you click on the image uh, when you click on an answer question sorry you get an answer okay when you go to the answer there is that small button at the uh, right hand side where if you click you get an image just google there let's say for example someone's talking about love just google love relationships or love friendship or love in love or something don't just put love put something else you'll get a proper image choose that image or choose something from the internet you know if you have the imac you can obviously take a small screenshot use that image but make sure that is not copyright do not have superstars do not have uh, famous people do not take someone else's image without their permission take general images and always have an image per answer that always helps in my case i use my images so nobody can scream a copyright loss so i have an image okay first one is have an image for every answer that kind of grabs people attention and make sure that the image is good uh, be careful however of uh, images which are sexual in nature images which show nudity uh, violence um, because you will get flagged i got flagged you don't believe i got flagged for uh, isis kind of flag i got uh, a flag for an isis kind of a flag i got flagged for putting uh, you know muslims have the allah which is uh, you know in arabic i just put that just to signify in terms of muslims i got a moderator who said uh, please use uh, images which I, i don't please use images which are permitted or which are in english or not in any other language so just be careful of that so avoid using anything controversial or too overtly sexual just keep normal general images but attractive ones so tip number 1 tip number 2 is uh, <clears throat> just make sure that your answers are in the range of 100 to 200 words okay uh, it's always good to have 100 to 200 words because 
I, in, in the beginning, I used to put 3,000 worded answers. I've even put one which is 8,000 words. I used to put hacks, which were like, if you type Loy Macedo hacks, you get one which is like 200 and I think 224 hacks. It took me 24 hours to write that bloody answer. And then the problem of doing such long answers is not that people, um, people get bored, but if that answer gets collapsed, <coughs> if that answer gets collapsed or deleted, all your hard work is gone. So just make sure that the answers that you put, one second, the answers that you put are 100 to 200 words <coughs> and make sure that it speaks to the point. Don't go too vague. Make sure that 100 or 200 words that you're putting is quality stuff, okay? That takes a little bit of uh, experience, so keep writing. The third one is, um, this is a strategy which I follow. Uh, before, I used to cherry pick and choose, okay, I'll only answer questions related to personal branding, I'll only answer questions related to um, Dubai, or questions related to uh, bodybuilding. But what I decided is, for me at least, I'll just choose random answers. So whoever sends me a question, I always give them a, uh, an opinion. Unless, of course, there is something which I'm not very comfortable speaking on. Let's say there, there was this question about a medical question in, in, with regards to how to, um, how to fight depression or suicidal tendencies. So those are pretty sensitive matters. Somebody asked me in terms of uh, what do I do after completing my engineering? Should I take uh, uh, this field, uh, this branch of engineering or another branch? And I told them, uh, listen, I have no answer. Let me just put on the fan. It's just a little hot. I hope it's not turning. Okay, it's not turning. Yeah, sorry. It's feeling a little hot. So uh, make sure that you do not... Uh, wait, let me just make sure this doesn't uh, come. Give, give me a second. Okay, yeah, uh, sorry. So, oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, sorry, because I don't want wind to be heard on my uh, video recording. So I, I, I choose not to answer questions which ask you uh, stuff related to, uh, you know, um, like engineering, there was one guy who asked me uh, something related to investments and Bitcoin. So I, I do not know much about these. So make sure that even though you answer random uh, questions, but make sure that uh, it's not something where you look foolish because if in case you answer something that you really are wrong, I mean, you'll get a backlash, a massive backlash. Okay, uh, point number four, which is pretty good is be consistent. Uh, every day, every day without fail, I have made it a, 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 a policy to answer at least 40, 40, 40 questions. Now, there are people who kind of misuse this, this rule. Like, I don't want to give names, but this, uh, this gentleman, he answers uh, 100 answers every single day. Now, however, you know, I, I think the new ceiling is 40, so he doesn't do 100. And out of the 100 answers that he does answer, he answers each answer in one word or one line, okay? Now, in as much as that might look like a very smart strategy, oh, I'm answering 100 answers every single day. Yay, I have 10,000 answers that I finished in uh, 100 days. Quora, like I told you, is smarter than you. The system, you cannot beat the system. Most of his answers started to collapse because people started to... Uh, uh, you know, choose the option that it doesn't answer to the point or it's it's a small answer, it's not appropriate and he lost 50% of all the answers that he gave. So please make sure that it's not one line uh, or uh, you're not answering just for the sake of answering. Quora is constantly improving its, uh, its system and uh, if you try the shortcut, eventually you will pay the price. So please make sure that you are consistent so even if you choose, let's say, I will do one answer, but make that make sure that one answer counts. If you're doing 20 answers, make sure that it's 20 answers, but quality. So don't focus on making it exceptionally high quality because then you'll, you know, it's analysis paralysis. Just state your opinion because on Quora, they're just looking for an opinion. So just be consistent every day, five, minimum five, maximum, how many ever. In my case, minimum is, uh, you know, the, the maximum is 40 every single day, okay? So the point number four is be consistent. Point number five is ask support. I have a, a support. I have a support group of Quora enthusiasts that I've created uh, in and around. I think I have roughly 500 of them. So 
once a while, I always ask them, please share my answers on your social media. Please do upload my answers. So, you know, out of 500, maybe 50 are very active. 50 I say, yeah, sure, Roy, I'll, I'll do it for you. So I'm really grateful to them. I'm really thankful. So I have a support group. That support group always that, that likes, supports your answers and shares it on their social media platform because the more help that you get, the better it is. So it's always good to have a support group, point number five. Point number six is um, share your answers on your social media. Now, there's a caveat to this. Initially, what I used to do is I used to answer 100 uh, questions per day, uh, 100 answers, and all the 100 I used to put on my Facebook. And I started flooding people's feed with my answers, and very soon people started to unfollow me. So, uh, you know, I, I kind of realized the hard way. So, what I suggest you to do is if you're answering questions, uh, just make sure you cherry pick uh, one or two, one or two really high quality answers and you share this with people because what happens is if you share this uh, this quality answer, people will click on it and they will share it with their friends. However, if you bombard them with 10 answers per day, they'll, be, they'll unfollow you and that will work against you. So share worthwhile content. However, on Twitter, I share constantly each and every answer. So, you know. The more you share, the better it is, but however, don't overdo it. So point number seven is make sure that you answer each and every email. Every day after I finish my day, that is, uh, I finish the whole day, you know, it is only then in the evening I answer emails. Or if I get up in the morning, I'm sipping my coffee, I'm watching a kind of a movie uh, or the news or uh, the latest educational session, I just open my uh, email on, on the left side or I put it on the left side and the movie on the right hand side and I just answer one line answers or I have a standard template that I send everyone. So make sure that you answer all emails because your fans and your followers like to know that you respond to them, okay? Uh, point number eight that I'd like to give you is please make sure that your entire prof profile oh, profile is filled out because what happens is uh, when, when this is the mistake that I did, I, I didn't realize until four months into it, uh, when you have your profile, make sure there is a call to action also. Now, first and foremost is put your name, put your photograph properly, make it decent. Don't, don't, please don't do this. Don't have something from the internet or somebody else's photograph or some, you know, like image or something cool. Don't do that. Have your photograph and don't have your photograph as someone punched you on the face so many times that you are in prison. See, you don't need to look very handsome. You don't need to look exceptionally beautiful. But have a, have a nice, decent photograph, a nice one. You know, you see, remember, today every smartphone has certain features. You can have a decent photograph. Have a decent one, put it up, and that's really nice. It's always good to have a nice, decent photograph. Uh, you want to come in? Come, come. Come, that's my wife and my doggies are coming. Okay, so have a decent photograph and uh, put some effects. Make it nice, but please make sure that this is your photograph. And... In terms of your profile, don't, this is what people normally do. I am a foodie, I'm a world traveler, I'm a in, innovator, I am a uh, rebel. Stop it, please. This is overused. Maybe just remove the bell from the doggies. Okay. Uh, remove the bell. My dogs have a bell. So please don't have the, uh, what do you call that? Uh, this, uh, you know, I'm a rebel, I'm a foodie, I'm an enthusiast. That is so overly done. It has lost its freshness. Instead, make sure that you have a call to action. Let's say, for example, you are a, a, a you know bioengineering student, for example. Okay, have your name. If you want people to get in touch with you, put your email address. Uh, make sure that you have, if you can, if you're a girl, don't put your phone number or you get stalkers. Uh, make sure that you have. You, you want to go this way? Okay, uh, that's my wife. She wants to go this way. Uh, it's always. Uh, I'll just keep my uh, go 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 doggy go go go. So that's my wifey and uh, and baby close that. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay. So sorry, it's my you know my family and I'm married guys. So anyway, um, so I was telling you, just make sure that your profile is properly filled out um, and have a call to action like have your name, have your email address so people can get in touch with you. And if there is something that you like to state, like, uh, for example, my profile, if you would see it, uh, it has, I like traffic to divert to my YouTube channel. So that is at the top most. Below that is 
Uh, wait, let me check uh, so I can give you the proper information. Yeah, first is my YouTube channel, which is right at the top. The second one is my WhatsApp group for those who'd like to join. Uh, then is my Facebook group. So the top three, the top three is what people normally read. And I, and I make sure that that direct link, they can just move their mouse there, click on it, and it goes, redirects to the call to action. So they go to my YouTube. And just to share with you, ever since I joined Quora in five months, my subscriber base, which was a thousand, has jumped up to 5,000 people now. So it does work, the call to action. And WhatsApp group, every day I get at least five people who would like to join my groups. And then, obviously, because I don't have time and so many messages, at least three or four drop out, so one may stick, okay? And I've got at least 600 people who have uh, joined my uh, branding groups. Now, apart from that, uh, another thing you can have on your profile is, please make sure that um, you have a bio about you. Like, uh, what you can do is, you can create a blog on uh, Quora and put, you know, let's say, about me, something about me. Um, then put your contact information, which you like, put, put stuff about you, so in my case, my true story, I have, I put my contact links, which is another, my introduction, I put it another, my email policy, I put it another. So uh, what you can do is create all these different, different links to your blog on Quora. So what happens is people can click and choose. And then if you are on Quora, you can see how many uploads you got, how much traffic you got. Like for example, when I click on my true story, that is point number four, as of now, um, you know, I have around 8,648 views with 376 upwards, okay? Uh, when I click on my contact links, uh, I've got around 2,550 views. So in each and every um, link that you put, you get to know how much of traffic is coming and it's always nice. So just make sure that you fill up your profile with a call to action and you can have a look at my um, uh, my Quora profile so that you, you know what, hey doggy, come in, come in, nice doggy. Oh, let me just get my doggy up. Oh, sorry. Ah, okay. You're looking nice. You're nice. Welcome, Bobo. Come, Bobo. Um. Okay. 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 Nice. 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 Okay. Sorry. So you know they want to hug, so I can't. You know if you want to. Okay. Nice, Bobo. Nice. Nice. Okay. Okay. Nice. 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 Okay. Go. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Little bit of love. Doggy love. Go. Go, go and check, go and check. Okay, thank you. Okay, so sorry, um, I was stating the points. And now the next one is, uh, so please make sure your profile is filled up. Make sure there's a call to action and uh, be sure what do you want people to do if they come to your profile. When people come to my profile, obviously I want to direct them to my YouTube channel. I want to direct them to, let's say my uh, Facebook page or I want to direct them to my uh, WhatsApp group. So what, what happens is when you direct them, it, it kind of gives them a call to action. Okay, so that's very, very important. Now, the next one is uh, point number nine. Okay, point number nine is what is your agenda? Okay, point number nine. Now, what do I mean by what is your agenda? You need to have a purpose of being on Quora. Many people, they just come on Quora just for getting views and upwards. Now, personally speaking, I would tell you that this is a very big mistake. If you are on Quora only for uh, upwards and uh, followers it's a very very big mistake and i'll tell you why um this this was another young man who was on Quora, literally getting like 800 uh, followers a day uh and even there was uh, this girl she was literally getting i think close to 900 or thousand followers a day uh upwards were like anything she if, if, even if she just what did you do today i had coffee she would get like a 1000 upwards and like uh, 10,000 uh, views you know so she was there one fine day, uh, I don't know, all of a sudden she just got banned. I, I have no idea why, I, whether she created a fake account or whatever. And this guy also got banned along with her. Maybe they both were playing a game or something. The, the sad fact is they were only famous on Quora. When I did search them anywhere else, I just found them after a great deal of you know seeking investigation. I found them on Quora and they, no, sorry, I found them on Facebook and they were not very popular there. So. Ask yourself, what is your agenda of being on uh, Quora? If it is just knowledge, fine. It is just knowledge. And if it is just uh, in terms of knowledge and if it is just answering question, fine. That's okay. If that was not your strategy, if that is not your strategy, what I suggest you to do is ask yourself, would you like uh, your followers from Quora to become your business clients? Would you like to network with them as friends? Would you like to 
increase your fan base, your followers, or you know, you're just looking for genuine relationships, not not in terms of getting married or something. So just ask yourself, what is your agenda? Because one fine day, there will come a day where Quora is no longer there or Quora is no longer existing. So at least all the effort, all the time, everything that you're putting on Quora, at least it has a meaning. Today I have WhatsApp groups, I have Facebook groups, I have uh, YouTube. I'm diverting the traffic there. I mean, it's traffic in the sense, just my the, the fans and followers. But at the same time, I'm using them to once again come back to Quora. So it's it's like a loop. It's like a loop. So I make sure that I give something of value to Quora. I, I, I'm, I'm not joking. I, I give six to eight hours a day just for Quora. A day just for Quora. And I'm contributing as a contributor. At the same time, you know, I'm seeing benefits. Okay, my views are going up. My comments are going up. And yes, I have got some clients. I have made some amount of money uh, through Quora. I, I managed to make uh, clients who pay me for my one-to-one -one professional services. So that's good. So just have your agenda, which should be very clear. Okay, let me drink coffee. One second. <clears throat> then point number 10 is uh, focus on your area of expertise. Okay, what do I mean by that? Um, now, I specialize in personal branding. Okay, I told you, you need to make sure that your profile is properly filled up. Okay, and I specialize in personal branding. Now, one thing about personal branding is I made sure on the title I have clearly stated I'm the world's number one personal branding strategist. Okay, and I've also made sure that every question that comes with Loy Macedo, I answer it, whatever it is, because it represents my brand. And any, any uh, question related to personal branding or communication, because I do both of them, and Dubai, because my main client basis from Dubai. These three are my primary area of focus. Personal branding, communication, Dubai. Okay, so Dubai is where my most of my clients come from. Uh, personal branding is what I specialize in. Communication is what I'm good at. So these three are my areas of expertise. So if you're, for example, let's say you're only a student. Now, obviously, if you're a student, you can't be an expert. In, but maybe you're a student in Mumbai. So why don't you, you answer questions related to Mumbai and if you're a student of science, why don't you focus on science? If you are a student, let's say, um, you, you like uh, cricket, you like playing cricket, search answer questions related to cricket, search questions related to your hobby, search questions related to what you love doing or interest, and make this your area of expertise. So then what happens is people will identify you as an expert and they will, they will have something to speak you about and that is where your network grows. Because remember this, what is important in the end is for your network to expand, for you to get in touch with people, for your education, for learning, for friendship, for business, whatever. So make sure. I, I, I know of a friend who is very much into a search engine optimization. Another guy is very much into bodybuilding. So they only focus on search engine optimization and he keep answering all questions and queries related to SEO. This guy who's a bodybuilder speaks about fat loss, about muscle building, about fitness. And, uh, you know, every photograph answer that he has he he shows his washboard abs or his physique or his muscles so you, you know i i think he he has literally now 50 000, uh, 50 000 followers i think so just make sure that you focus on your area of expertise okay that is number 10. uh number 11 okay draw the line now what do i mean by draw the line is uh, you you need to know um, till where you should interact with people or how much you should interact with people. Sometimes people just go off tangent. Like for example, there was this 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 friend, uh, follower of mine, not friend, follower of mine. Uh, he told me, Lloyd, what, can you give me advice on uh, this guy? You know, he's, he's heckling me or whatever, arguing or something. Can you help me come up with a straight one line? I said, okay, fine. And then he showed me the, the thread where he was having this conversation. And to my surprise, it was almost like, I think 400 or something comments, 406. So one comment, he put one, uh, that guy put one, he put one. It just went on and on. And I asked him from how long has this been going on? And he said, literally eight days, eight days. They have been going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So for me, when I deal with people, I, I know where to draw the line. If, if I speak to a person once, if let's say a person says, can you give me advice on this? Answer him once. If he asks me again, I'm sorry, you know, you want my time, you want my expertise, you know, please go through my website, pay me a professional service, only then I'll give you the answer. Others, I'm sorry, I, I don't want. So I draw the line. I draw the line, not more than once. 
uh, I, I make it very clear that I, you know, I, I don't want to interact for free. Then there are those people who have a lot of hate comments or something. I just answer them once nicely, in a nice way, without you know getting too personal. And please be careful if you respond with hate. Somebody may be trying to trick you or trying to trap you and, you know, your, your account will go for a toss. Don't respond to hate, block them. So just draw the line. And uh, for example, there was this young man who was commenting on uh, my wife. Uh, which I didn't like very much, and um, you know that's that's a line you, you that's a line you don't cross. Um, I I don't think a young boy who is just my follower uh, should uh, speak about my wife publicly. So I, I complained about him, and uh, he got suspended. So I was, I was really glad. I was really glad because he deserved it. And uh, then he sent me an apology. I, I'm sorry, I won't deal with you. I blocked him off. So you need to know where to draw the line. Okay, I have the line because. If you start doing things for free and you start arguing with a lot of people, a lot of people are just bored in life. They don't know what to do. So be careful of this. Okay. Point number 12, which is very important, is learn to handle haters. Oh my goodness, I don't even know how to elaborate on this. You'll be surprised to know, and I'm telling you this, you'll be surprised to know, there is a group, there's actually a group that has been created to bring me down on Quora. And every day, I found out because how did I find out is one of the guys who was part of that group first he used to hate me like crazy uh, he really wanted to bring me down but eventually what happened was he ended up in some trouble in terms of his work uh, nobody was there to help him he approached me and you know I uh, he opened up very honestly very genuinely he told me that's why that story kind of stood out he told me like I'm, I'm sorry I, I tried to bring you down can you help me so I said okay fine so you opened up I kind of helped him. I don't want to give many details. And then later on, I didn't ask him much. He himself opened up and said, you know, I wanted to let you know that we created this group. There are around 52 or 53 people in this group. And our instructions are every answer that you give, we need to download it. Uh, we need to report your profile for any mistake that you make, any mistake, every answer that you give, we will download it. We will, you know, and he, he gave me the name of the person who was main guy and you know, who initiated all this. So I just told him, you know, I, I told him thanks, I appreciate it. But that kind of kept me at the edge. Uh, and from then on, I started to be careful. You would not believe, a lot of people who join my WhatsApp groups, apparently to spy on me, okay? There are some people who have been busy spying on me. How did I come to know about this? Uh, there was this guy who apparently acted like she was a girl, he was a girl. And, you know, I don't care. You say, hi, you show me your sexy photo. I don't give a damn. For me, I've seen everything. So I said, I'd like to join the group. Oh, okay, I said, fine, join the group. And then this guy who acted like a girl started contacting all the people in my group and saying, you know, about lawyer asking until this idiot, this guy got in touch with my one of my very close friends and uh, asked the same questions. And yeah, eventually this person opened up and said, you know, I'm here to spy on Loy so that I take screenshots of the uh, messages and I'm going to advertise it to everyone and bring Loy down that he begs people for votes and he asks me, yes, I do ask people for votes. I do ask people to share. I, I mean, what's wrong? Uh, I ask people even to pay for my YouTube channel. So money doesn't hurt. So he was busy taking screenshots. So what I did is as soon as I found out who this person is, I myself emailed him enough and more screenshots and uh, other bits of information, including my ex-girlfriends, whatever, uh, not their photographs, all the steamy love letters. I said, put this and spoil my name as much as you like. Uh, so what I'm trying to tell you is there are enough and more haters. Be careful. They will gang up together. They will act like your friends. I don't know why, but apparently they want to bring you down. So be careful. There are a lot of them. They will gang up together, especially, especially from, I don't know why, from India. I, I just have no idea why these youngsters from India, they, I don't know, they get a high. I, I, I'm an Indian. I, I, I just never seem to understand. And uh, you can check my YouTube. You'll get plenty of these guys who keep putting uh, sexual comments about my wife. How much do you pay for your wife? I want her for one night. So, you know, I just block them up. I, I don't entertain. So learn to handle haters. Don't take anything personally. Never respond to them with anger. Just block them. And uh, that's all. And make sure that you report their answers. Okay. Point number 13 is very, very important. Oh, goodness. I do not know how important this is. Is violations. Please, you would not believe I got uh, Cora slapped me with the suspensions, uh, one suspension that is for uh, 
you would not believe. I just recommended one user who said that uh, I, I have mental problems or something like that. I said, you need to go to the mental hospital. No, yeah, you need to go to the mental hospital and seek a doctor. Now, because I didn't put it grammatically proper, you need to go to the mental hospital or something like that. I got banned, uh, banned for a week. I got edit block for a week, so I couldn't answer anything. So please be careful because your violations are pretty uh, slippery. You, you do not know where's the gray line. So here are some tips on how to not get into violations. One is do not use controversial photographs. Do not use photographs of any celebrity stars. Do not use copyright photographs. Do not use any photographs that I put on newspapers. Just don't do that. Do not put anything controversial. Do not put anything which, uh, you know, would, would uh, anyone can complain. Don't be rude. Uh, even formatting, just write in a paragraph nicely. That's it. If that's the simplest advice I can give you in terms of edit formatting. Because if you format and you keep writing line by line by line, uh, you'll not believe I, I put a list of the top 10 pieces of advice, just this list, and that got uh, a collapse for a, uh, for a violation of, uh, you know, formatting. You'd be surprised to know, I answered one book review question by, by copy pasting a small paragraph from my website, from my website, I copy pasted a paragraph study. This was taken from my website and I copy pasted a paragraph. Why you see that? That's it. That's what I put. And somebody, somebody kind of complained and said that I copied. So plagiarism. I, my answer got collapsed for plagiarism from my own website. And then when I contacted them, they said, you should have put a link from where you got it. So I'm just trying to tell you the violations. Some of them are very silly. Uh, I even got a violation for, instead of putting uh, Loy Anthony Macedo as for my passport, I put Loy Macedo, so uh, they had actually kind of suspended my account for from Loy Anthony Macedo to Loy Macedo. I got an edit, uh, uh, I got a violation for formatting. It didn't look nice. Uh, don't put too many images in between. You can again get a, a, a collapsed answer, which is really bad. I'll tell you, it, it stacks up against you. Uh, do not fight with anyone. Don't get into any, uh, you know, someone arguing with you. Don't respond to anyone rudely. Don't write about any religion. Do not write about any controversial topics. Here's something for you to be really shocked and surprised about. If a person has been, uh, you know, uh, has been charged with uh, sexual molestation, okay? Somebody has been charged as a pedophile. And you say, you, you tell the person that, you know, you had got charged for, for being a pedophile just because you stated what is actually true as for the news, okay? You state the facts, you can, uh, you can uh, get collapsed for, or you can get suspended for BNBR. That is, be nice, be respectful policy. So just stay out of all these violations. The most common ones are edit, uh, edit violation, that is formatting. The second one is uh, BNBR. That is the most headache. It's such a big headache. If you respond to someone rudely, if you write about anything controversial, you you speak about any religion, you hurt anyone's feelings, you would not believe. The one of my answers, which I spoke about India having corruption, that got a violation because I said India is a corrupt nation. They said you're hurting the sentiments of being, a, you know, be nice, be respectful. So. And even when I told someone, go meet a doctor to get your uh, uh, to get your your problems checked, even that, go to a doctor to get your problems checked, that was also a BNBR violation. So please be careful of the violations, please. Otherwise, you will lose your account. Okay. Uh, point number fourteen, very very important. Anywhere, anywhere on the internet, you take a line or you take a phrase, please put them below as footnotes, references, just put that. Once you put the uh, links, you're safe. And always take it from Wikipedia, it'll always help, okay? Point number four. Point number 15 is, uh, which I tell a lot of people, uh, please, 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 do not, under any circumstance, think that you are smarter than the system. You know, I um, I checked a couple of these videos, I don't want to take their names. There's this, this guy, he's very popular on Quora, he gets, I don't know, 100,000 followers or something. Uh, he's, he's popular on Quora. That's it. He's not popular anywhere else. He's popular on Quora. So he stated one of the secrets apparently is delete all the answers which do not have a very high ratio of 
uh, upwards is to answer. So it should have a 4 is to 1 or 40 is to 1 or 14 is to 1, something like that. He just stated this great uh, analysis. Now here's the thing. You're talking of a guy in a room, a guy in a small room, who's telling you, I have actually found out the secret of this company, this billion dollar, million dollar company. Ha ha ha. I know the formula of Coca-Cola. I know the algorithm of Facebook. Ha 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 ha. I'm the expert. If you are such a great expert, why haven't you been employed by Facebook or Quora or somebody else? You're just like, you know, the, this phrase that people use. You're speaking out of your ass, my friend. You're speaking out of your ass. Four is to one. Can you, can you seriously tell me how many people have a 4 is to 1 or 40 is to 1? Okay, for every 40 views, I want one upvote. You know, if, if everybody started to delete all their answers on Quora, uh, what would be left? You think Quora is so stupid, uh, you know, the, the artificial intelligence, the algorithm, the system that the greatest minds who are being paid money, their only job is to make sure the system is improved upon you think one person sitting behind his computer has managed to outsmart a million dollar company are you serious please don't listen to such shitty advice there is no power hack there is no magic there's no secret you cannot fool the system you start deleting answers just because you are lucky that you look nice you look smart you have a big designation on your name CEO and founder and uh, you can you know uh, you, you you look sexy or beautiful and you have an amazing Instagram account and that's why you have blind followers that doesn't apply to everyone if you want to know someone's advice is right do it do it and see it and if for example I recommend take a, a, a blue pill and I tell you take the blue pill it'll make you sleep you take the blue pill it doesn't make you sleep it means it doesn't work so if I if you want to know if something works Give the same blue pill to 10 people. If all 10 fall asleep, it works on everyone. If I give the blue pill to 10 people and two fall asleep and eight don't, or four fall asleep and five don't, means it's not a universal piece of advice or it is not something that works on everyone. It's just one person who it works on. It doesn't make it universal. He's an exception or she's an exception to the rule. Please don't follow it. The second one is, uh, point number 16, which I want you to know is, uh, please don't let it get to your head, okay? There are some people who suddenly call themselves the fastest growing star of Quora, the fastest rising star of this, or oh, the, the most powerful person. Oh, oh, please, let me tell you something about people who are on Quora, who are famous on Quora, whoever, I can't take their names, I don't want to take their names, but the highest, the person, the highest followers or the person with the biggest number of uh, upwards or whatever, they are just one hit wonders. Right person, at the right time, at the right place, you know, in the right capacity. You put them anywhere else, you put them on uh, YouTube, you put them on Instagram, you put them on Twitter. They will never replicate the success, so they are just lucky. So it's just a one hit wonder, please keep this in mind. Somebody succeeds on uh, Instagram and he doesn't succeed anywhere else, he's a one hit wonder on Instagram. If somebody succeeds on Twitter and nowhere else, he's a one hit wonder on Twitter. So. It's like just because you succeeded in one kind of business doesn't mean you'll succeed in every other business. Okay, so that's another thing. Um, point number 17, which I want to tell you is um, these are things that really help people succeed. These are the easiest strategies. And what are the easiest strategies? If you put CEO or founder, you put CEO, venture capitalist, you know, owner of a million dollar company, or if you look good, you're very handsome or very good looking or if the girl looks very hot, sensual and beautiful or you're a celebrity. That is the surefire way of getting millions and millions of followers on Quora. Serious. <laughs> it happens everywhere. This happens even on Quora. So uh, my request to you is don't fake it. Don't put something that's misleading. Initially, when I started on Quora, this is a confession. When I started on Quora, I put CEO of LloydMacedo.com because technically I am the CEO of my brand. So, but you know, I, I never put it anywhere apart from, you know, just, just to get that high that, you know, I'm CEO bitch. Okay. But then, uh, you know, I didn't want to put, but my friend, 
the, the same guy, he said, right, put CEO on your uh, Quora profile. You get millions of followers, put CEO. And then, okay, fine, CEO. I put CEO. See, and nothing happened. You know, I was like, why am I fooling myself? Why am I fooling myself? Yes, I did get many people, sir, sir, you're so great, and this and that. Finally, I got fed up. I said, forget the CEO. I deleted that. Now, if someone tells you he's a CEO, remember this, somebody tells you he's a CEO, ask that person, verify that person there. There are many people who are CEO of a single small office with no employees. You never see a photograph of them with 300 employees or 500 employees. You never see. In fact, if you're a CEO of a company, you will not have time to be on Quora. Do you seriously think Larry Ellison, Mark Zuckerberg, Richard Branson are busy sitting on Quora eight hours a day and writing answers? If you're really a CEO of a multinational company, you will not have time on Quora. I'm seriously telling you, you will not have time on Quora. If you're CEO of a company of one person or two people or five people in a small, you know, dumpling like an office, ah, CEO. If you want to know the person's a CEO or not, please just check their website, see a photograph of not internet images of them, that person sitting with 20, 30 uh, directors and maybe 700 employees, fine, you're a CEO. You put your, your own photograph and you sit in a small chair with a bloody computer and a table, I'm CEO, hi, I'm CEO, what CEO? Today, every Tom, Dick and Harry is a CEO. Every Tom, Dick and Harry is an entrepreneur. Oh, I'm an entrepreneur. How much money do you have, you, you misly little faggot? You know, entrepreneur. Every youngster I speak to, oh, I'm an entrepreneur. Do you know the spelling of entrepreneur, you, you misly little maggot? That's so stupid. You don't have any money in your bank. You know, I got this one boy who is, I think, 14 or 16 years. He's telling me he's an entrepreneur. I asked him, how much do you have? Oh, I have a million. I said, really? Oh, very good. He said, I want your advice. Then I told him, listen, since you are a CEO or entrepreneur and you have millions, pay me a thousand five hundred US dollars per hour for my advice. Bye bye. And then, oh, no, no, you know, I shall. So please keep in mind these dummy designations. Why are you on Google? No. And these dummy designations of CEO and entrepreneur, please don't fall for it. Anybody can be anything. Okay. Point number eight, which uh, 18, which I want you to keep in mind is remember collaboration is the key. Uh, you need to collaborate with other people. I have, uh, you know, a couple of guys who I collaborate with. I share, uh, I share my thoughts. They share me, they share with me their thoughts on what worked, what did not work. And it's very important to collaborate. So have, I have teams that collaborate in terms of uh, Facebook, in terms of Quora, in terms of YouTube. So I collaborate, exchange ideas. So it's like having a mastermind team that really helps. I have a mastermind team for Quora as well. We share what works, what doesn't work, trending items. They tell me about their competitor, whom they want to compete with. And, you know, we share and exchange ideas. So collaboration is very, very important. There are some people who, um, you know, there are some people who, who literally what they do is, I don't want to take names again, but you know, I, I feel it's ass kissing. It's like, oh, you know, uh, I have achieved success, but, you know, the Quora user X, Quora user X, he's a great one. And if you go to Quora user X, he said, you know, I am great, but Mr. Z, he is great. When you go back to Mr. Z, he says, Mr. X and X. So what they're trying to do is exchange. It's like giving each other a blow job, man. Come on, stop doing that. Okay. That's stupid. That's one thing I never do. I never follow someone to follow me. In fact, I never follow anyone on Quora. Uh, please don't start giving each other a hand job or a blow job. Don't say, oh, X is good because X said I'm good. And you go to X, X is Z is good because, yeah, come on, that's stupid. Okay. Collaboration is done behind the scenes and that really helps. Point number 19, which I tell you honestly, is be genuine. I have put a lot of answers for which I've got a lot of flack, but I've been very genuine. Like, for example, uh, you know, my wife, uh, baby, come here. Oh, okay, okay, she's in the toilet. So, you know, I, I, I put the, uh, the, the answer whereby I had actually asked my wife to clean the gym room where the dog had pooped. Now, you need to understand that my work is online. Her work is, she's a, you know, she's a housewife. So, I could have cleaned the dog poop. I mean, I've been doing it for one year. I've been doing, I've, I've been a sweeper, I've been a cleaner, I've been a toilet cleaner, I've done all this. So, I work very hard. I, for me, cleaning the dog poop was not a big deal, okay? However, we had an agreement between us, me and my wife, that 
she would do housework and I would do this. So I wanted to see how long would it take for her to actually do the work. And then I pointed it out. I could have done it and I've done it. I, uh, there are so many times when I talk hoops, I, I clean it, okay? But the point I was trying to make is she needs to do her job with responsibility. She needs to do her part of the work. And mind you, my wife ha is, has been a farmer, has been a farmer where she has worked 12 hours in the sun. So for her, this life is much more luxurious. She doesn't have anything to do other than sit at home in the AC, just read any book she wants, be on, you know, on the laptop. Uh, you know, she can enjoy her life. The only thing which I tell her is just do housework. So I'm pretty particular. I'm a little old fashioned when it comes to housework. Sometimes I help her when I'm free, but most of the time I do creative work, I study. So those days I have to do my work. So if, if I'm going to do a housework, then she should do my work because one of us has to earn money and bring in for the family, you know? So I stayed at this and all of a sudden everyone started bashing me. Oh Lord, I had respect for you. There was this teenage guy who looks like an ugly frog. He looks ugly as, you know, my, my ass with hair. His face looks like my ass with hair. And he's telling me, what is he telling me? Uh, oh Lord, I had respect for you. I had respect for you. But ever since you spoke about your wife's breasts, uh, that she wanted implants and ever since you I read that she is she has to clean the house I lost respect for you News flash listen you piece of shit. You're a teenager. You're 15 or 16 years old You don't even have pubic hair. You have not even had sex in your life you, Your father and mother don't even trust you with a woman. What the fuck are you talking? You are giving advice to a 40 year old go fuck yourself So I don't want to give you names of this person, but seriously man. Come on. You need to fucking grow up you're a fucking teenager, 13 year old, 14 year old. You're telling me you don't have respect. I give a fuck about you. You know, you don't pay me any money. You don't give me any support. If you're paying me money, fine, I'll listen to you. You can't afford my services. You don't even have one bloody dollar to pay. And, oh, Lord, I lost respect for you. Go tell your father that. You know, please go and sit with your father, discuss with him. Dad, you know, speak to him. Why the fuck are you speaking to me? As if, you know, I mean, you're not even at my level. I'm sorry. You're not. You're just a bloody kid. Remain at your bloody level. Here's the thing. Most of these kids, when they come on the internet, they become like, yo, thugonomics, like, you know, weekend like, keyboard warriors. But you meet them face to face. They're so small. They're so skinny. They're so short. And they shiver. They don't even have a job. They don't even know how to, you know, create their resume to get a job to earn $10 a day. They don't have that capacity. But they have the, uh, you know, the audacity to speak. See, this is the problem when you give the internet to idiots. At the same time, you give the access to genius. You give to a jackass and a genius. All of a sudden, he starts thinking, oh, I'm big. So, please, uh, you know, I, I was telling you, I'm very genuine about my views. I don't give a fuck whether people like it or not. I'm going to be myself. My wife doesn't have a problem. I don't know why the fuck do people have a problem. If, if, I have clearly defined what my wife is supposed to do and what I'm supposed to do. I don't know why people have a problem, but I don't care because my life. So this is me being genuine. So the point I'm trying to tell you is I'm genuine. This is me. I'm not going to portray like someone says, can you have this charity? No, fuck you. I'm not going to help you your charity. Fuck off. So people, oh, Lord, I had such a high opinion of you. Go fuck yourself. Sell your house and give it to charity. Don't come to me. So this is why I am. So I'm genuine whether people like it or not. And last point, 20 is keep a track record. Now, for example, I have my daily score. I know every single day how many views I got. Every day, I literally write it down, the views, number of views, I write it down. Okay, 4,900, okay, 4,925. Every day I write down number of views, number of followers. So the point I'm trying to say is keep a track record of every score, every follower, every view that you have every single day so that you know if you are going high or going low and to give you a perspective compare and contrast the number of views that you have with somebody else don't see uh, i'll give you an example there was this gentleman who i was speaking to and um, he was apparently popular and i just spoke to him and he was like aha lawyer you know i uh, just want to tell you you'll never reach the number of views i've ever reached you'll never be at that level so i was like okay fine whatever so what that person didn't know was that I had his data for a whole month and I had my data for a whole month and I was increasing 
at least around 25% more than him every single day. And he has been on Quora for many, many years. Okay. So I'm growing at a faster rate than him, even though overall he's much more than me. So keep a track because what happens is it gives you a perspective. It gives you a perspective where you are. Hi, baby. How are you? Come on. So, so this is my wife. So I, I tell you to clean doggy poo poo problem. No, no. No, sure. Okay. You happy? Sure. Because some people say you're not happy. They say maybe you should leave me. No, sure. Okay. Bye, baby. Okay. So the point I'm trying to tell you is, uh, yeah, so this is my wife, she's happy, so go fuck yourself. Okay, so the point I'm trying to tell you is keep a track record of where you are um, and compare yourself to someone better than you so that keeps you grounded. Others you think, oh, I'm so great, I'm so great, I'm better than them. I have one person who I compare myself to who is much more popular and much more famous than me, he's growing much more faster, so I know that I need to be humble. And I have someone who's, who's been on Quora for many, many years and uh, yes, stagnated. So I kind of keep a perspective and that makes it competitive. So overall, I hope all these points have kind of helped you and uh, they give you a kind of perspective how to uh, grow on Quora. Uh, I'm pretty sure that anyone can go on Quora. Okay, anyone can go. Finally, just to share with you, these are uh, the overall scores that I have on Quora. Uh, uh, just, just an update. Uh, that is, uh, before I could answer 100 uh, answers every day, now I can do only 40. I don't know, they've changed the algorithm. The number of answers that I do per day is 36. The average increase of followers per day is 226. I've had 42.7 million answer views in the last, I think from June, uh, June or July, uh, just roughly to give an idea. I took it seriously only after one month. In between I had the surgery where uh, uh, where for I think three weeks I didn't come on to Quora. So you could say four months, you know, uh, more or less four months. So 6.8 million views this month. Uh, last 30 days, the most popular answer was what is the most random thing that you ever did? Uh, I got 302, uh, 300, 300,000 views approximately, 3,200. Uh, the all time highest is. Uh, how does one avoid getting conned? That is 426,000 views. And the highest number of votes that I got, I think upwards, uh, what separates the men from the boys within a month, uh, I think I got 8.1 thousand views. So anyway, I hope these points really help you in terms of Quora. If you like the video, please do share it with others. Give me a like, put your comments down below. I really appreciate the support. And uh, if you'd like to contribute to my channel, please go to PayPal, loyalmacedo.com, always helps. And one request, um, if you, yeah, if you, you know, like to give a contribution, all this helps. Uh, uh, just a request is uh, please to uh, like my answers, upload them, share it with your friends, and put your comments down below, like the video. And last but not least, if you want any of my professional services, uh, make sure that you go to thinkpersonalbranding.com or send me an email or at law at lawyermacedo.com. Hope this video was worth it for you. Thank you very much for watching. This is me saying goodbye for now.